What's going on, everyone? This is your Hood Geniuses Podcast, and this is Lady T. And this is Ms. 100. And today's topic is, at what age do you stop being a player? Yep, that's right. You heard Lady T. At what age do you stop being a damn player? Let's get it together, fellas and women. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, how was your um your weekend and, you know, your week? How's everything going? I mean, so far, so good. I had a, a wonderful weekend. Um, it's still, it's, it's still going on, you know. Lady T, you know, I, I, I try to do what I do when I can do it, you know. So, <laughs> I'm still going on with my weekends. It's the Sunday afternoon. It's still early. So, you know, pretty much the weekend for me ends around 11, 1130. No, oh, I hear that. <laughs> yeah, and for those who don't know, we usually record our um, episodes either on Saturday afternoon sometimes or Sunday afternoons or even or whatever whatever happens there's nothing scripted over here we just make it happen you know what i'm saying <laughs> we out here but um we got a shout out we did um we um volunteering yeah um yesterday at for new hope ministries um that was at 17th in tioga um and then we we left that event right Went straight over to um, and Anastasia Diaz. She has her own boutique shop located down uh, Second and Gerard. Yep. And um, she, she had a beautiful spread of food. She had wine. It was called the sipping and sipping shop yep. style. Nice. So, and I mean, she freestyles her own clothing. So go check her out down at Second and Gerard. Um, Anastasia Diaz um, boutique. Yeah. Um. Her, it's handmade. handmade, handmade clothing. You handmade know what I'm saying. Um, the exact address I think is 139 West Gerard. No, it's 169. 169. 169. That's it. Yeah, 169 West Gerard, Philadelphia, the Northern Liberties um Area. section mm-hmm. of Philadelphia. Ain't nothing but like the downtown section right. of, of North Philly. Right. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? It's not for far birth. at all. So, you know, if you can, if you're driving, get in your car, go down there and show us some love. If you're on the bus, if you're on the school, if you're on the skateboard, just go show us some love. You know, because you can request something that you may like because she hand makes everything. So, you could just let her know what you want and she'll hook you up. Yeah, and if you can't find her, you can go on our Instagram page, which is Inst- I'm, um, Hood Geniuses Pod at um, no, it's just that. It's just, yeah, yeah, at Hood Geniuses Pod. Yeah. That's our Instagram. That's Ashley for Twitter and Facebook. You know what I mean? But yeah, you can go on there, our social media, and you'll be able to see um, us at her event. You know, she had the wine popping. She had that lovely food. Just them sweet, tasty meatballs. Yeah, Jamaican meatballs. It was oh, that's phenomenal. What it was. Yes. Damn, yes, that yeah. was my first time tasting those. It was wonderful. Making meatballs. Yeah. Um, she my had the stuffed shells. Yeah, yeah. She had mac and food. cheese. Listen, she had a beautiful spread. <laughs> beautiful spread. Um, my my tongue is actually healing from you know chewing and just enjoying every bite that I thought I was chewing my tongue. Yeah, and Lady <laughs> T, she caught me on my codeine nod, John. You know what I'm saying? I, I had three cups of that Straight sangria. Itis. Yeah, I had the itis, the wine. You know, she was like, listen, don't let your feet get numb over there because I know what that means. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, you got me on video. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, she, she got me good. But, yeah, it was a nice event. You know, I, I was that was a pleasure. Definitely. And I was really amazed. When she told me, like, she like, yo, I designed this. I was like, wow, right, right, right. that's very amazing. And you know what? Um, also, also captivates me is the positive um, energy. Um, so vibrant. Yep. You know, even the friends that were there that were coming, you know, to shop and you know, just it was just everything was just really nice. And I love those type of environments. You know, good vibes only. Good vibes only. Hashtag. Like, I love that. So I cannot wait to rock my two shirts that she is doing for me. You will see them, you know, on my uh, Instagram, my Facebook, you know, because I show, I show love, I support. So that's yeah, what we do. And that's one thing about us when we do show up events and, you know, whether people selling things or whatever, we do really show support. You know what I'm saying? We really do show support and go in our pockets and um, buy. You know what I'm saying? That's what we should do, you know, um, hopefully the uh, cycle of that reciprocation of us doing we do go in our pockets that y'all go in y'all pockets and buy the hood geniuses 
podcast hoodies. Forty dollars, y'all. PayPal, hit us up. You know what I mean? I'm thankful for all the supporters that's actually been buying them so far. You know, um, they definitely selling, y'all. You know what I mean? It's hoodie season. We, you know, if listen, I don't know for some of our listeners is um down south. You know, so I know I ain't expecting people down near to buy hoodies, but for our listeners that's up north in them cold regions, it's coming. It's fall right now. Wait, wait you know a what I'm saying? No, I'm yeah. expecting because sometimes down south can get a little chilly. You know, so yeah. it's like little hoodie sweater, you know, type, you know, seasons, yeah, you know, occur. But yeah, I am expecting, you know, just get it and you can frame it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And you, you know what? Right now, we're going to do our little shout out roll call. Um, I got a couple of people I want to shout out. I uh, definitely want to shout out the um, Oversaturated Podcast. They really be holding it down, um, supporting us and listening. So I want to shout them out. Make sure y'all go um, listen to their podcast. They're available on Apple Podcasts. Um, that's the Oversaturated Podcast. Two good brothers from um, South... I mean, damn. Excuse me. St. Louis. You know what I mean? Um, St. Louis, Missouri. Go check out their podcast. Um, two on-point brothers. You know what I mean? I like their opinions on hip-hop and entertainment. You know what I mean? Very thorough. You know what I'm saying? Very thorough brothers from what I hear. So go support them. You know what I mean? So, you know, shout out to them. You know, Lady T, you want to shout out to anybody? I just want to shout out. You know, I'm horrible with names. You kind of put me on blast just now. Um, I could barely keep up with my children's names. I'll be swapping them in. You know, so that's just me being really honest. I'm horrible with names. I just want to shout out everyone that's, you know, constantly listening to us and, giving us you know mad feedback and just support this period like all across the board um it's a, it's a lot of names i don't want to mess nobody's name up but just trust and believe like i'm i'm really really thankful for everyone that's out there supporting us um behind the scenes that's up front everything like i i really love it and i appreciate it yeah and um i got one more person i'm gonna shout out <laughs> she um kind of uh came at me in the inbox um, I want to shout out Carmelita. You know, um, she's a faithful uh, listener of ours. Um, Ashley, she was uh, a high school mate of mine's, um, you know, class of 95. Yeah, I'm old, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Only class you, of 95. Only if you claim it. Bro. You said what? Only if you claim it, because I'm going to tell you, I'm not old. I'm just getting younger and better. Trust yeah, me. I know that's right. Trust right. the process. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I want to shout out Carmelita, yo. Yeah. She definitely um, always listening and commenting and, you know, um, one of our Facebook followers also. So shout out Carmelita. That's what's up. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. definitely. I want to applaud you know everyone saying? for taking the time out. Appreciate it. Yep. So we're going to get into our newest segment, Genius or No. Um, we've been doing, it's been, it's what, our second episode yeah, that we second, actually yeah. been doing the Genius or No segment. It's actually third. Third? Yeah, this oh. is our third one, yeah. Because we did it when Kalina was on, and then we did it. So this yep. is our third yeah, one. It's yeah, it's our third time. Yeah, Time's yep. a charm. Yeah, exactly. We have um, party gold. Yeah, so Lady T, you know, she, she doesn't know. <laughs> What I selected, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, for the genius and all, um, this week she doesn't know. Um, like I said, we, we just do things a little bit different, not not scripted or nothing. And, and I have just, a few that you don't know about. Miss 100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what's up, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do mine first. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, genius and all. Okay. The juice is loose. And that is OJ Simpson. <laughs> it's free. It's October first, and um, he's on. But I think he got probation right now. He did nine years yeah, nine off years, that right. silly charge, but you know they had to get him on something. Right. right. Um, so I'm gonna ask you, genius and all, the juice being out, he deserved to be, you know, going to jail for what he went to jail for. Now, <laughs> ah, let me get into it. All right, so, whoo, I can't do both. So, I am going to say it was a genius on the, the government part because, you know, they like you said, they couldn't get him on what they really wanted to get him on. Mm-hmm. So, they got him on some bogus <laughs> armed robbery for his own property. Stuff, yeah. So, um, they said, look, we can't get you on this, but we're going to get you on something juice. 
You know what I'm saying? Because remember, he's not black. He's OJ. So, um, I'm going to have to go ahead and just say genius on their part because remember now, you're not black. You're OJ. So, I really don't have no no empathy, no sympathy for you, my man. Like, I don't got no bars to spit, but that's pretty much enough to be said on that part. Yeah. You you know, um, I mean, listen, um, you said genius. Oh, you know, for the... I said genius for his ass getting locked up, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was right. genius on right. their part. You know, and, and, and he's a... He, I'm, I'm going to go with no. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go with no, meaning um, for them locking him up for that bullshit. Okay. They should have just locked his ass up from the beginning. Fuck no, it. They couldn't. You know what I'm they saying? They couldn't. They could, but they, they, they were so... They, they messed up. The glove didn't fit, my man. Yeah, but it was other things. It was, you know but, they mess, but they, they, they messed, messed it up. up. They messed yeah, it up. Yeah, it was too hype. Right. Like, man, killed a white woman. Oh, yeah. we got him. So they, wait a minute. They, they, they went back into the cave. I mean, they went back into the labs and in, 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 in the rooms and the court and whatever like that. And they thought about something else. So it was a genius on their part because they got him on something that they could stick him with. Yeah. And they made him look like an imbecile. How True. you get somebody on? So that was a genius move. Yeah. Okay? Because remember now, I know I done said it twice, third time to charm. My man, you not black, you OJ. Okay? Yeah, so, he's sucker for that. Yeah, yeah. so. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Don't sell OJ us out, man. Sucker, don't yo. sell us out. Yeah. You know the messed up thing is, this dude, he still got a crazy following, yo. You yeah, know what I'm saying? People was a, obsessed with that case and just him, period. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, it's kind of um, real sick, though. You know what I'm saying? It no, is for, sick. for them people that's actually obsessed with him and the killing and all it that. It's sick. It you know is. What I mean? It is. It's that sick. shit happened so long ago that still is on that tip. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, I just gotta laugh about it because that whole situation was crazy. It was. It was crazy. It was. But do you think he did it or no? <laughs> hey, you you asked shit. <laughs> I I think his son did it. I, I think his son yeah, did it like, because you. He, he, well, he was messed up. You know? then nobody ever, never talks about the son. No, you know he he has some some yeah he has some shit. If, if you go and research the case again, you y'all will understand what I'm saying. I don't feel like getting talking about that. that yeah, getting yeah. into that bullcrap. All right, so next next. Yeah, okay. you gonna bring it or, or you want me to go? Well, on you know, case? um, yeah, I bring it. Um, okay. genius or no? Um, Rihanna came out with her own makeup line, and I want to shout out. What's the girl? Car- Carmelita. Carmelita. Yeah. I don't want to mess her name up. Carmelita. Yeah. Um, she's definitely um, a huge fan of ours, and you know we definitely appreciate you. And you actually brought forth us asking that question of Genius and all about her bringing out her own makeup line. And of course, there is a lot of makeup lines out here. You know, competition is, is like overwhelming with makeup because mm-hmm. women love what they call it, beat their face, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, had a face on fleek and all that. You know, just <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to throw out a little slang out there, but um, yeah. I definitely say it's a genius um for her to do that. Um, because she has all shades, like all shades. No one is, it's no prejudice against whatever complexion you are. She has all shades to accommodate, you know, the women out here that, um, are, um, low self-esteem and, um, you know, don't know what avenue to go down because, you know, they're this certain complexion, but Rihanna, listen, you are a genius for doing that and, um, much success to you and um yeah that's all i got to say about that oh okay so i mean of course you know ms wanda you don't wear makeup but you know you have a mom a sister a girlfriend you know lover whatever you know what you think about that yeah um me i think is i think is a genius you know what i'm saying um that rihanna actually came up there because she came up with for for all shades you know what i'm saying and i like i like that you know what I mean? And I heard it's affordable. Yeah. It's not like crazy expensive and you know the fact that somebody like her, I mean, is always gonna be I put it back. I hope it don't fall. But yeah, excuse me for that, y'all. But um yeah, I think it's a genius. Mm-hmm. It's a genius. You know what I mean? It's 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 a win. It's a win win for everyone. For her. And she covering all shades. That's right. All shades of people of color. That's right. So, shout out uh, Riri for that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. definitely. And, and also, too, like, I know, like, I know a lot of the other um, makeup lines are boiling because, like, you, you, you're going to see more women of color modeling them 
because we have those shades and we are um, accommodating, you know, women of color, you yep. know, because there's so much, so many sh- different shades of women out here. And now um, I'm quite sure, like um, Carmelita said, that you're going to probably have more Maybelline um, women of color modeling now because you want to say, oh, we're here to accommodate you now, but where was y'all at back then? So don't sit up here now and, and, and women... Do not fall for it, okay? Don't be falling for those old buy one, get one, or buy three and get eight free. Don't fall for it. Just stick with Rihanna, man, because she did her thing coming out with that to accommodate women of color. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, genius, genius for her part. Definitely. You know what I mean? Um, the next one, mm-hmm. which fucking disgusts me. <laughs> Beginning of the week. You know, I'm scrolling social media like we all do. Mm-hmm. Scroll social media with, you know, we succumb to the BS. You know, it's all entertainment. That's what they say. Mm-hmm. But I came across a hashtag that I clicked on called For the D Challenge. Jesus. And I, 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 I'm oh, like, man. hold up. In my mind, I'm like, man, oh man. For the D Challenge. In my mind, I'm like, hold up. I, I'm thinking like I know the same what I think it is. Ooh. Clicked on the hashtag. First thing I seen was on, and I was on Twitter. Um Regina Hall and um the chick from uh Insecure, the mm-hmm. new popular mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. Now I know she's a she's like a comedian kinda somewhat, right. you right. know. I, and her show, I watched a couple episodes. But I ain't too big of a fan of it right. you know i gotta get more into it but it, you know she's funny she's funny on there mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying be some real shit on there yeah. but i just you know regina hall though i'm like damn yo you you, eh, you know it, it, it's just too much going on on for that then i start researching and seeing other stars doing it Sinead Laf- Sinai Lafton did it and i'm like yeah, you ain't even a comedian you don't even be in funny movies no and hers was the worst. Yeah. And that's what I'm like, damn. You know, I mean, got a little Hollywood crush on her, but damn, I look at her differently now. You know what I'm saying? Not the I'm not saying I'm like just make it break, you know, but I just I just look at it like this. When those celebrities had a platform that they have, which is a huge platform, especially in the social media era, mm-hmm. you really gotta watch what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because you got young women looking up to you. Mm-hmm. You know, grown women looking up to you. Definitely. And it's, it's tainting people's minds. Yeah, so you got to be careful. Them. So then you got... Oh, I started looking at all the regular people that's not celebrities doing it. And it was just so ratchet. Ugh. It was like... It, it was just getting worse and worse. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think this all started with Erica Badu and the comedian Michael Blackston, though. Which... You know, they well, Erica Badu did it, and then Michael Blackson did it, and they were saying, like, you know, it was hilarious. That's how it really took off. But I gotta say, no on this because it's too much shit going on right now that's on a serious note. You know what I'm saying? And and I seen a couple of people say, oh, damn, y'all getting mad because a bunch of black entertainers just trying to have fun. Mm. No, that's not the right time, brother. It's just not. Not for that. It's just not, it's, it's too much going on. You got 45 trying to <laughs> end the world and shit yeah. with his dumb ass. You know what I mean? So, as of right now, that's all I'm going to say. That's a that's a super no. Hell no. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah. Lady T. Okay. So, those who know me know um, it struck a nerve with me. Um, it was very degrading to see, like you said, Ms. 100, um, some some actresses and you know people that has that platform to just belittle themselves just to think they're you know humoring someone which really is is not um it's very degrading what you do for the day i don't i don't get it it's just so much going on right now that instead of doing that challenge it could have been going your pockets and like right now like even even in different i'm getting a little emotional even in, you know, with the hurricanes and, and everything that's going on right here in America is still so much going on right now. People are hungry here. And like for y'all to get on that platform and say what you do for the D challenge is like very degrading. But I also, too, dissected it. And I said, this is a way to to degrade the black woman 
as always. It's not like we, we, we don't have that target. First of all, we're born with that target on us anyway. Not just black men, okay? Black women are targeted too because we birthed the man. So we're the number one target. And that's what you got to understand. And the spotlight is always on us. Always on us. Okay? No one is perfect, but to live in the society that we live in, the target is on us. The spotlight is on us. And, 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 and to take that platform and to, to be so... Um, unladylike. I couldn't dare. I couldn't dare get on social media knowing I have a 15 year old daughter and say what I would do for something like that. First of all, I, that is what you know how you how she got here. You know, was on, you know, because mm-hmm. I you know I gotta bring it down a little bit because I feel myself like really getting emotional. But it's just sad, you know. It was just sad that we could have been something else could have been done to distract. You know, something else that's actually funny because that's not funny. That's not funny. It ain't. And then you got. It's not you funny. Got, you got. I, I've seen an elderly woman get on here and say what she do for the D. Okay? Come on, yo. She was talking so much, her damn false teeth almost fell out her mouth. Come on, yo. Okay? And then you have the men. Like, it's just crazy what you do for the, the P-U-S-S-Y. So you got uh, what I do for the D challenge, what I do for the PUS SSY challenge. But you know what I'm liking now? I'm seeing that a lot of people are coming up and say, you know what? This shit is crazy. No, we're going to take this and we're going to do. They got some people saying what I would do for Jesus challenge, what I do for my children challenge, Mm, what I do, you know, to support my family. So that's like um, coming up more now. People are doing those type of challenges. You know, yeah. like, you know, so, I mean, it's, it's a hell no for me on that. That's not a genius move. You know, it's like, it's just straight foolery. It's, it's foolery. Like, I love to like, I love to, I love comedians. I love joking. But that right there, that is not, that's not a joke. It's degrading. And you got to know the difference. Like, stop selling yourself short to get a laugh or just to be noticed. Like, what's good? Your ratings went down. That's why you had to come on the platform and do some ignorant shit like that. Come on now. What's good? Yeah. So, yeah. She gave me a headache. Let me sip on this wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, that ends our segment. Genius and all. You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. No, no, no. No, no. You don't want to talk about um Which what's one? my man about the whole kneeling thing? Like Ooh. the football player, what's his name? Something Jones, you know. Oh no, 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 no. Uh I I wanted to keep it moving. You want to keep it moving? Oh, we're going to keep it moving. I'll keep it moving. (laughs) I'll keep it moving. (laughs) (laughs) Woo. Woo. Tang. Woo. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, you you crazy. That that was my shit. That was a hip. Yeah, yeah, hip hop. Hip hop. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Johnny Blaze. Yes. You know what I mean? And um, the damn thing change. Oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Yo. This is yeah. what we do. We like to have yeah. fun, so don't say nothing else to remind me now. I'll yeah, spit yeah, something yeah. else. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we gonna go, go to the, the actually get into the um today's topic. You know what I mean? At, at what age do you stop being a player? Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, um, you want to go first, or we just want to go back and forth with this? Let's go like back and forth. Not, I don't yeah. want it to be too long when we can break it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, we wanted to stick to the yeah the, with the 45. Yeah, we gonna stick to that. You, you know, know keep I mean? it short. We ain't got sweet. no guests today. Yeah, no guests you know? today. Yeah. So, so the um, guests we could do. A little longer. Yeah, a little longer, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? But they got more to tell, you know. Yeah. Um, mm. I want to say, um, it, it's really not no no age stamped on that, you know. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. it, you really can't, really can't guess it. You as a person have to know when you've had enough, when your body is tired of touching all those souls out there. Mm. Um. I'm going to say I'm I'm a one fourth of a player, and I'm explain why. When I say one fourth of a player, y'all hear that, y'all? Listen, one fourth. I'm, of I'm a player. keeping it one hundred. Yeah. I'm not intimate with Tom, Dick, and Harry, but I do go out on a lot of dates, mm-hmm. and it be Dutch sometimes. All right, so I first said I say, well, you know what? Let's go Dutch. So you won't be in your head like she owe me because I could eat. Well, you can't. I could eat and drink. You can't. You can't go out with. With, with Dick out of time and Harry, because you said it's not intimate. No, 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 it's not. I, no, it's, it's, uh, yes, I can. No. 
As long I'm as playing, listen, I'm, I'm just oh, oh, because I was about man. to break it I'm down. Just on words, no, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sleeping with Tom Big Aaron, yeah, but I'm yeah, going yeah. out because yeah, no, I'm playing. You, you listen, oh hey, yeah. I will break it down. There's a difference now. Yeah, we ain't kissing, we ain't being intimate, and you don't know where I live at, and I don't know where you live at. We meet mm. up in a mutual spot and we go hang out, and that's fine. Good conversation, good food, like that's what I like, and I'm enjoying it. I've been single for going on six years, and I'm, so, I'm enjoying life. So, so here's the thing: you can you could be a player. With without sex being involved of course of course yeah. that's why i said one fourth of a player yeah because yeah. you know i'm pretty much like i'm i'm not delegated to one person got you so and some people ask like oh she a player um one fourth because actually i'm not hurting no one's feelings because the first thing i say is you know i'm not this is not commitment i have other friends i go out with everybody has their own category yeah. You know what I mean? So pretty much like the first day could be Dutch. Like, cause I know I can eat and I don't want you to be like, oh, well, wait a minute. Shit. That this bill is like my social security number. <laughs> okay. Well, now yeah. I'm going to pay for my own food. You pay for your own food. And the next day, you know, we can probably throw up in the air, toss it up. Like maybe you pay for drinks. Maybe I pay for the food. We could do something like that. And I have done it. Like if we go to the yeah. movies. I pay for the movies. You pay for the, you know, the snacks or I bring the damn snacks in either yeah. or, or somebody drinks. paying or the drinks, whichever one. Yeah. Cause you know, I got a big pocket. Yeah. <laughs> You know, when you see me with the big yeah, pocketbook. Got the big pocketbook. Got the big got pocketbook. Got the 40 in there. Yeah, well, got, I will. Yeah. Got the 40 in there. Hey, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you know what I'm got saying? Got the flask in there or something. 40 you know? of ink bang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, you want to ink bang. We got a 40 of ink bang. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> slang for O-E for those who don't know. Oh, English. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's a Philly slang or not. It is. It is a Philly ink slang. Bing, yo. Yeah, ink bang, yo. That's some old school yeah, really slang is. right there, yo. Come on now, you know but let's not get off topic yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but pretty but, much, um, that's why I consider myself one fourth because you know I have I have choices. I have you know Rolodex. I look at my phone. Hey, what you doing? You want to hang out? Okay, yeah. but you know what it is, right? Now, if you want to go there, um, did, did you say you like such and such? Maybe I'll cook y'all up because I'm not there yet. I'm not yeah. ready to touch a soul that I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not there yet, and that's how I feel about yeah. it because I I'm not gonna say in my past I have made mistakes. But I just don't want to go back. I don't want to look back and I don't want to think about the things I have done because now I'm more smart and more wiser now. And if it takes me to be almost 50 years old to where's the hop, say, you know what? I'm ready to just stop going out with a bunch of people and maybe settle down. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I have choices. I know now, like, you know, what, where I want to be or what I, you know, what I really want to do. So if you don't have a, a plan or, you know, or where I'm at, because it takes a lot to deal with me. you got to be strong to deal with me. So mm-hmm. if you're not strong enough to deal with me, understand that I have male friends and, you know, I like, I have, I'm part of a, a um, auto truck club that, you know, that throws different events. And if I invite you, like, no, nah, you could go here. I don't want to come. If you don't want I'm still going. Yeah. You know, I'm not easy to control and you shouldn't feel like that when you're in a situation because you had a life before you met with, met, got with somebody and some people get with somebody and change their whole life around and then wind up alone or miserable. Yeah, and that's fact. why a lot of relationships don't last. But so, you know, you know what? That's though? how I feel about I, it. I think some people are born to be players though. You know what I'm saying? True, true. I think they just born to be players. Yeah. What I mean by that is they just, they just not meant to be with nobody because um, sometimes, you know, some, some people, they, they just not happy with themselves. You know what That's I'm saying? Not, that doesn't necessarily mean you're not happy with yourself. No. It can mean no, that you get bored. I don't easy. mean that. I don't mean that. Oh, we I, I didn't mean that. You're right. Name. You're right. <laughs> you can't not say happy that. with themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like you just said, get bored easy. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And you do have a lot of people out there that get bored easy. Because I'm one of and, them. And, and, and you know what? <laughs> they have this, um, they have this, um, this saying, you know what I'm saying, that some dudes say that most women got this, you know, they got this thing where they got like five different dudes. Exactly. Right? Mm-hmm. They got the one dude that they having sex with. The one dude that's paying bills. Mm-hmm. The one dude that they just, you know, chill like, with, like, go mm-hmm. out. You know, get something to eat, go to movies. The other dude, he just, yo, he do anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? He there for, the, you know, mental support. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, the listener. You forgot about the goon. Hold up, though. Okay. I was going to say, then you got the fifth one, who just the, the goon type, ignorant nigga probably blowing <laughs> your back out. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. You got that. It's like, that's five different dudes. Uh-huh. You know, that's with, that, that's a, a, a known thing amongst 
uh, men that they say about, you know, for some females. I'm not saying that's what all females. We're going to save that because that's good. That's good. That's good material right there. That's good material oh. right there. So oh. we're going to save that. We're going to oh, save okay. that one for the, yeah, we're going to save that right there. Oh, and I'm going right, to just right. bring that up in the next one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. That. Yeah, but right. you're absolutely correct. Yeah. You are absolutely correct. That's why when a woman, when a woman, you know, steps out on that, that, that man she's been with for years, she's really fed up. And R. Kelly knew what the hell he was talking about. Because a woman will ride, 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 you do all kind of crazy shit. But when she say, you know what? Mm, I done had enough. Yeah. This is it. She don't turn back. Yeah. She don't turn back. And then y'all be oh, 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 oh playing with y'all bottom lip. Yeah, oh, you know. I agree. Yeah. So it's just best that if you can't be committed to somebody, don't even don't even play them. Like don't cause karma's a bitch. Yeah. Karma's a cause you you wanna meet your match. Yeah. Wanna be a player see, out there. So you know what though? What I what I think though, sometimes what happens and, and it's a good thing what you said. You mm-hmm. said you you know you want for of a player and even no intimacy involved, mm-hmm. right? Well, and I'm gonna tell you this. Keep it 100. And keeping it 100. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you this. Um, and that's where the, the that's the part where the player goes wrong because he out there or she out there touching all them different souls, right. having sex it. with all these different people. And what you gotta realize mm-hmm. to some you could say sex is sex, but at some point, when you have a sex with that person, it's going to be some type of connection. Right. You're going to start feeling some type of way because mm-hmm. that sex was involved. You feel what I'm saying? Um, well, it's just it is what it is. You, I mean, I'm not saying for for every person you had oh, sex okay. with. I'm I'm saying that player can be having sex with five different men or five different women, mm-hmm. right? Okay. And then it could be that one out of five that they like, hold the fuck up. I, I actually got some feelings involved. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Real talk. You're right. You're absolutely right. You know what I'm saying? And then that's where the game get all crazy. Because I was just... Because now you come from being a player to like, oh, fuck that. I, I only want to deal with him. Or you know her. what I'm saying? Or her. Or her. Right. You know what I mean? And that's where the, the, that's where the player whole shit get recalibrated. Now, now break this down for me. Are you saying because... You've enjoyed the sexual encounter with that person, or is it more than just that? Because it's, it's more because when because a player, a, when a player, a player doesn't get to know where your mind, you know, kept where your mind intelligence at. You don't, they don't try to figure it out. They don't try to get to know you, understand you, or you, you like so you, you That's know. a yeah, that's a real true player. You know what I'm saying? We just talking it's about an average levels. player. It always yeah, levels to the shit now. To, okay. To players. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? All right. Now, see, that's what you just talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's some mid level type player shit. You right. know, upper level shit is pimp stats. Because, <laughs> no, that's motherfucking straight up mind control, like Dr. Bender or some shit. Like, them pimps, yo. I'd be amazed at shit. Not amazed and like, damn, I want to do something like that. But I'd right. be amazed at, you know, how humans really can be controlled by the mind. Yeah. Because them pimps really control them women by the mind. They got them. And you know what? I just wanna... They got them doing all kinds of stuff for that. They be ready to die for them. I mean, <laughs> had them doing some trifling stuff. Yeah. And hand all that money over to them at the end of the night or the yeah. next day. I can't. I couldn't even socialize with myself with somebody like that because I'm pimp slapping them. As a, as a friend or whatever. Yeah. You know, come on, woman, wake up. Like, what's wrong yeah. with you? You know what I'm saying? You sitting up here, you you put your body through all that turmoil. But what I wanted to say was um, that if you if you are going by a sexual encounter with somebody and then all of a sudden you feel some type of way about them because that sexual encounter, there's something wrong with you. Because for a couple of minutes of pleasure or however long, whatever like that, like... I just I could never base my I could never base me wanting to be with someone because of that because I'm gonna be vulgar you gonna blow my bag out I don't care what's I live whatever listen it gotta be more to it, it gotta be more to that you gotta be able to and I'm gonna spell it out because you know saying it is a little little you know a little vulgar and I said I was gonna start watching my mouth a little bit because you know mm-hmm. but if you can f u c k my mind yeah that right there is a term. Yeah. If you can hold a conversation and make sense, oh, man. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like you can probably yeah. not even be that good in the mirror, but if you could do that, I will grow. We can grow together. We can make. Yep. I can teach because you how last my needs and wants. Right, that's gonna, gonna last, last longer, longer because you you're good in the bed, but you're not good at paying bills. 
you not good at maybe planning a family vacation or you not good with your kids like I'm good with my kids that's a turn off if you yeah, have children or, or you're you not good no communication skills. no communication skills or nothing if you got children so, so, and you're not good with your children you don't get them I gotta tell you get your kids that's a turn off so if so where you not, so you what know, percentage does the sex play honestly at this age now because yeah, I'm more yeah. mature than ever uh, I'm gonna say 50 50. No, I, I agree. Fifty percent, fifty percent, and the 50. other fifty percent has to be that communication, that you know, that um, the intelligence. Um, you being able to teach me something, I teach you something. You, you exactly. know, just stimulate it, it, it's your 50, mind. 50. And that's sometimes real shit. you might not want to go to bed to, to get your back blown out. Exactly. You just Maybe might want to just go and, and talk. just chill and bust it up. This lady and, and, talk. and that that's just as good. We don't gotta pay you know nobody I mean? for therapy. We can sit there and just do pillow talk. How was your day? What's going on here? And just be exactly. open-minded, be understanding, because in a society that we live in, it's going to be women and my dude face. It's going to be, you know what I mean, women and your dude face. You know what I'm saying? Or it's going to be vice versa. So pretty much, like, you got to be open-minded, understanding you got to have trust and loyalty. And I, I know that's what's lacking in today's society is loyalty and, and honesty and, and respect. So if you do get somebody out there... And you, you know, you and your play a little mode or whatever, you do get somebody, you run across that type of person, yo, grab that up. Stick with that because it's hard to run across somebody that's loyal, honest, and, and respectful. Because, you know, everybody is a, um, what we say, monkey see, monkey do. Yeah. That's that type of trend going on. Monkey see, monkey yeah. do. I, oh, I want yeah, to be like that or yeah. I could do that. I could do the same thing. Not, why, why would you have that mindset? Why, why not be better? Well, I don't want to do that. I want to be opposite. I, oh, me, myself, I always want to be the eyeball. You know what I'm saying? If something latest came out, I'll wait to, a year later to get the shit. Then they'd be like, oh, it's them jeans. It's hot. Oh, motherfucker, they was out last year. Mm-hmm. You don't remember that? But everybody was rocking. So I'll wait for shit to get old because it's old. You know what I'm saying? It could be new again. So. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah that's, that's, that's good uh, points about that. You know what I mean? But... Like you said early on, it's no, it ain't no age to to the shit, yo. Because no, I, I, I ran being a, across a player. I ran across yeah. some some guys, you know, that was in their twenties. Ain't talking about, hey, what's up with you? I'm trying to settle. I'm trying to get married. I'm looking at them outside my eye, like, listen, I'm like half your age, right? And I, you probably are mature, but I want you to experience life. I want you to really, yeah. you know, enjoy life because I got remember I have sons, and I don't want no cougar coming to my door. Okay, tell me I'm dating your son. Okay, because we gonna have some problems. Okay? Yo, the cougars is off limit to your son. Cougars is <laughs> off limit to my sons because I want. Because sometimes you gotta be careful. Because sometimes cougars have a a, a, a a agenda to steal their youth. And when I say that, meaning that sometimes you ever wonder why um, a woman when they say their age, she be like, "Damn, you look good for your age." I wish she got a young guy, and that motherfucker look like he older than her. Mm. So you gotta be careful with those soul, those soul catchers, mm-hmm. you know. And that's deep. When I'm saying it's deep, you know what I'm saying. But you gotta understand that we live in a spiritual world, and it's it's you, what they call them witches. They latch on to you yeah. and still your still your youth. Dang. Would you hear the, a lot of older men saying? A lot of older men saying, "I'm gonna get me a young girl, keep yeah. it young." That yeah. shit is real out here, and that's what some women do too. But I'm going to tell you, you come to my door for my sons, okay, you're going to be at Six and Brown. That's going to be your <laughs> permanent address, sis. Yeah. We can't sit down. We can't talk. We can't do nothing, okay? Because I know what it's about. Yeah. So I respect. I'm a mother, and I respect another mother. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how good they look, how cute they are. It don't matter to me. I'm going to respect that because I'm a mother, and you're not going to come to my door for my sons. Yeah. But you know what, though? You know, um, as we, you know, we're about to wrap this up. All in all, though, uh, it is at a certain point, though, you are going to want to just settle down with, with that one person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't care what nobody say, you don't want to die alone. Right. Because all in all, you can you can pray and hope that your kid's going to be for you when you're older. Mm-hmm. But a lot of times, you know, sad to say, you know, your kids... They, they get their own personalities, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and The older they get, they got, they, you know, they they develop different shit going on in their lives, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. But who's, like to when you say, who's to say, though, like, some people don't mature 
as as quick as others. And we can't just say men mature slower than women because shit, nowadays no, no, I'm like, you know that. what? I ran across some more mature men <laughs> than women. Yeah. You know, I and I'm pushing agree. forty, so I'm like, wait a minute. It just, I don't know if sometimes I be in like a a, a high school setting or. A, um, a daycare agree. setting Like what's going on out here yeah. Like women get it together And yeah. I'm talking to my women out here Like step up to the plate And do what you're supposed to do But you was, you was put on this earth for it Y'all done lost your way You know what I'm saying So maybe it takes for you to reach A certain age Maybe like 50 Mid 50s To say you know what Damn I'm tired My body tired mm-hmm. Now I want to settle down Yeah But do 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 Settle down, you know, at some point, though, because you, you can't keep to. going. Not yeah, an energizer you bun. You're not a battery. You're not a robot. You're yeah. a human being. And you're putting all these miles on your body, yo. That's what kills you, too. You got to understand that. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to wrap this episode up. You and know what I mean? I know. I what? messed up the ending one time before on the episode. No, nah, not really. It was cool. And you know what um, I'm saying? So, I want to end it as uh, Ms. 100 always ended. Which is dream hard, but don't sleep forever. Peace. Peace. You, you, you are now an official hood genius. Thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Y'all know what to do. Hit that follow button.